Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of After Effects Studio with Jeff Knight. It is I, Jeff Knight. So I started this new series where I'm going to be taking a look at videos, whether it's music videos or short films, reels, things like that, and kind of talking about what's happening in After Effects and if After Effects is being used. And if it's not being used, if it can be done in After Effects. So the last episode, we took a look at Metallica's new music video for Screaming S-Word. Can't say the word. And I believe I'm right about most of it. There were some comments about the lighting. I do believe there was lighting absolutely on set. I do believe also that there was additional lighting to kind of accentuate that lighting. Kind of like how the particles were in there and then they added some more particles in After Effects. So today I'm going to be taking a look at one of my favorite videos. It's by Ramona Falls, a song called I Say Fever. It's been out for a very long time, like 13, 15 years, something like that. And it's an amazing example of how you can use After Effects solely to make an amazing music video. So the motion graphic designer slash animator is Stefan Nadelman and he is known for short films, documentaries, titles, music Music videos. Very, very impressive guy. And so I did a little bit of digging and he is an animator and he does use After Effects. So I am thinking he used After Effects for this music video. Even if he didn't, what's accomplished in this music video can absolutely be done in After Effects. So let's take a look at I Say Fever. Okay, so out of the gate, we have some 2.5D animation if this is done in After Effects. And if not, this is how you do it in After Effects. 2.5D, everything is flat. So there's no 3D modeling. Everything is just staggered in 3D space. So you can use a camera to get that depth. Now we have some characters, we have some backgrounds and uh, some very, very well rendered illustrations. And like these little movements, if you see on this next scene, this guy flicks his cigarette, the characters are blinking their eyes. There's no facial movement in this. It's the blinking eyes that really kind of give it a sense of life. The waving of the fan adds quite a bit. And then there's this little rack focus to the guys in the background playing cards. And if you see that shot right there at about 18 to 19 seconds, motion blur is enabled. You can see his hand right there. So that's definitely enabled. <laughs> We've got our pianist there, kind of from like a three-quarter view. So again, it's not a 3D model, it's a, a flat illustration. I love this shot. It's just this stoic look on her face. Her eyes are pointed down and she does this blink. And again, that's just the kind of thing that adds life to this style of animation. We have a little rack focus there. So going into the course, very, very cool. The thing about music videos that's super important is timing. You have to have things timed right. When you make a transition from like a verse to a course, you want to do something powerful. And in this video, we see these red lights kind of start flashing. So it's a great way to know, okay, we're taking a turn in this story. <laughs> Okay, and that shot with uh, the birds coming out is time to that musical hit. Just boom, and here come all the birds. Whenever there's a gunshot, birds fly out, and they grab people's faces and rip them off to reveal the animal underneath. And you can tell the chaos of the scene matches the music. It's just this ripping guitar, and then you see all these heads being ripped off. It's it's a great device. I tell the friend how I'm feeling, and this made so going into verse two, we have this little push in through a window. Again, great use of 2.5D. We have this flat illustration and we have this window frame and we're pushing through it. It really, really gives us this sense of depth. She fears that no man will ever decide her soul. So we still kind of have the chaos of the lights and, and the movement, but it's not quite as chaotic. So we're keeping the momentum of what happened in the course. This is a great sequence here with him riding the horse, the way it moves, the bouncing movement. Now we're going to the woods and we got a guy carrying a gun. This walk sequence is very interesting. You can find all kinds of walk cycles on YouTube using After Effects, but this is very appropriate for this style. We've already established how these characters move, but this also has kind of a certain gait about it that, that is very foreboding. <laughs> Boom, we got the, that gunshot and the bird comes flying out right on beat. And then there's the return shot, again, right on beat. It's a beautiful shot. 
In case you're not this rabbit, the thing that's really, really effective about this rabbit is very, very subtle. Uh, his nose is twitching and his his eyes are blinking. So again, it adds life to it. Just imagine how different that would look if the nose wasn't moving or the eyes weren't blinking. He was just sitting there. And there we go, an almost terrifying shot of the woman coming straight at us, the red lights flashing, just this, this stare right at the camera. It's very, very cool, very effective. Again, another gunshot right on the beat, and her mask is ripped off to reveal a rabid dog underneath. And as the video closes, we see the, this carriage being driven by a guy. Again, great use of 2.5D animation. We have some trees in the foreground, force in the background. All the heads that have been collected are in the uh, the carriage with her, and she, she finds hers, puts hers back on. So that way, I guess, her true identity is being concealed. Wow. So... Super, super cool video. Again, it's one of my favorite videos. I think it's done very, very well. It was done a very long time ago, so if it was done in After Effects, it was in a very, very early version of After Effects, which makes it even that much more impressive. The things you can do now are exponentially greater. So hats off to Stefan Edelman, an amazing motion graphic artist, animator. He's done quite a few things. I highly recommend you go through videos like this and really pay attention to what's being done. Think about how it can be done in After Effects. Like I said, even if these things aren't done in After Effects, they can be done in After Effects. And this is a great example of a music video that tells a great story and is beautiful to watch, but this 2.5D flat illustration style is super cool. So, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked this video. And please comment, like, share, subscribe. I have a Udemy course called The Power of Shape Layers, which you might find very interesting and useful. And please, Support us if you're so inclined. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.